Hey, how are you all doing? Uh, well, why am I black and white? Looks like I'm in an old film. Let me sort that right out right now. Cool, yo, there we go. Anyway, how are we doing? Um, welcome to this video leap tutorial. In this um, video leap tutorial, I was asked a question recently and I can't believe I've not done a video on it. So um, here's the video on it. So PS commented, hi Matt, can you make a tran text transparent on video leap? So you just have the image coming through the text, but the rest of the background is opaque. Um, yeah, we can do that. Um, um, and we do it in blending mode. Let me show you exactly how we do it. So I've just got this stock footage right here and I'm just gonna double tap to add some text. Let's add the word pandemic, why not? Suits the moment, right? And let's scale it up a little bit because it'll make it look a little bit more um, sort of realistic if you want. I'm just gonna scroll that text across because I didn't have my um, playhead at the start of my timeline so it wouldn't come or make it at the start of the timeline. So, okay, so the way we do it is um, is really simple, really. So um, we go to um, stroke, so select stroke, and then we want to change the width on this and just bring the stroke of that text up a little bit and then we're gonna click the arrows to go back. So now we've got the outline, we've got something to play with. So we can change the color of the outline quite easily. And again, you saw it in stroke, you can just change the color and make the color whatever color you want to make it. Um, don't make it the same color as your background, okay? Um, top tip, you'll see why in a minute. Um, and then all we simply do is we go to blending and there's a couple of things that we can do here, darken, and you can have it like this type of feel. So you could sort of keyframe it around and it would, um, you could just see the background through through the text and the rest of the background is dark. PS, I know that's not what you were looking for. So what you wanna go for is um, either color burn or darken. So you can, you can have a play around with them. You can go overlay, you could go multiply, which works as well. Uh, multiply would probably work if you've got the same background color as well. Um, outline needs to be different, remember. Um, you can have soft light and then you can mess about with a soft light or the, the effect that you've you've done, hard light. Um, but generally darken or color burn is gonna be better. Um, lighten and light plus is not gonna work for you. Um, but this is gonna keep the, keep the outline now. So um, I'm assuming that's what you were looking for anyway. Okay, so now we've got that, let's do something with it. So I'm just gonna um, keyframe it across the screen. Let me drag and drop this with my finger off the screen um, and add a keyframe, press a little diamond button in the corner and you get this little diamond in the timeline, which adds a keyframe. I'm gonna drag this text out for the duration of my video, drag it right to the end and I'm gonna move this across and it will automatically keyframe for me. You know, it just automatically gives me that diamond. Um, and now, if I play through, play through this, it's just gonna nice and slowly pan across the screen. And that's the effect that you get. If you want to add any sort of effects to this or you wanna animate it sort of at any point, if you like, you could split it there and, I don't know, add a add an effect to it, add an animation to it. So we could animate it in. Um, we could have a spin in the middle. If we wanted to, we could have a flicker in the middle. PSI, that's how I put, um, answered your questions. Add some music to it, give it a, you know, give it a bit more of an effect. Um, take care everybody, I'll, um, I'll speak to you all soon.